in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When Scripture says, Those who believe in him will have no cause for shame, it makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. All belong to the same Lord, who is rich enough, however many ask his help, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But they will not ask his help unless they believe in him, and they will not believe in him unless they have heard of him, and they will not hear of him unless they get a preacher, and they will never have a preacher unless one is sent. But as Scripture says, the footsteps of those who bring good news are a welcome sound. Not everyone, of course, listens to the good news. As Isaiah says, Lord, how many believed what we proclaimed? So, faith comes from what is preached, and what is preached comes from the word of Christ. Let me put the question. Is it possible that they did not hear? Indeed, they did. In the words of the psalm, their voice has gone out through all the earth, and their message to the ends of the world. The Word of the Lord Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Alleluia! Alleluia! Follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you into fishers of men. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were making a cast in the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John when they were in their boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. At once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, today the Church celebrates the feast of St. Andrew the Apostle brother of Simon Peter, who was born at Bethsaida 
and he lived near the shore of the Sea of Galilee, where many of miracles happened during Jesus' time. I was wondering, out of many places and people, why Jesus chose Andrew, Peter, James, and John first to be his disciple. Well, of course, Jesus has many reasons, but perhaps it is related to their profession in those days. Because in the gospel, Jesus saw and called them. The nature of the profession was not only a success, but rather, in worldly terms, we would say lucky to get fish. But in a spiritual sense, it is by God's providence. Even when they can plan when to fish, perspiring and working, and still in the end they might fail of success. What makes them special is how their faith and life are one. They are living out their faith in total surrender and dependent on God's providence. How about us? Are we living out our faith? Have we reflected on why God calls us, other than being His sons and daughters, especially in a call to a specific ministry, a call to serve the Lord, a call to serve the people outside the church, in your own community? Definitely, when God is calling us to a new path in life, He always sees the quality we have for the good of all and to help us to prosper. Sisters and brothers, today we thank God for the reminder and we ask for St. Andrew's intercession to help us to become courageous and generous in responding to God's invitation. At a service command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we, who carry in our body the death of Christ, may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.